Long live aspirin! Long live aspirin! Long live YPJ! Long live YPJ! Long live YPG! Long live YPG! Take a protest, the latest attack on the, on the democratic um, territory of Rojava. This time the Turkish army has sent its uh, warplanes, its tanks, its militia, and it's using his artillery to attack Afrin. Afrin was a beautiful place not very long ago, a peaceful place where people who had fled the war in Syria had gone looking for a better life. And now this city of 500,000 people is being bombed. It's being bombed by Erdogan's regime in Turkey. This dictatorial regime in Turkey. This regime Turkey that supports ISIS, this regime in Turkey that's promoting war in the region, and the Kurdish people who have led the struggle for freedom in the region, not just for themselves, but for all the people in the region, for the Arab people, for the Syrian people, for the Syrian people, and united them in the Syrian Democratic Forces in a historic fight that has defeated ISIS and knocked them out of their supposed capital of Raqqa not long ago. They have won a huge victory for democracy and for the whole world and for peace and for humanity. And what happens after that? The Turkish state of Erdogan sends its military in to try and destroy, to try and destroy the homelands of the heroes who have resisted, who have resisted ISIS who have resisted terrorism, who have resisted the war, the bloody war and terror that ISIS has inflicted, not just on the region, but on the wider world itself. But while this attack is happening, where is the international forces? Why are they so silent? What is Russia doing? It has got troops and a base nearby. Why is Russia so silent? Why did it have a secret meeting? with the Turkish regime before this attack and decide to be silent on this and, 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 and allow this bloody attack to take place. Shame, shame, shame. It's shameful. Shame. And I must say, here, yeah, those of us in Australia who support your cause, we have a big responsibility to call on the Australian government to stand on the side of democracy, to stand on the side of peace, to stand on the side of the Kurdish people who are fighting for peace and democracy and justice in the region. They should condemn this attack. They should immediately withdraw. They should, the Australian government should immediately withdraw its ambassador from Turkey now as an act of protest. And all the Western governments who claim to be against ISIS and to be against the fundamentalist terrorism that ISIS stands for, they should stop their silence and get on the side of the good people, the people who are fighting for peace in the region and fighting for democracy. So I'll join you here today and I hope more Australians come out in the next few days because this fight is not going to be over very fast. Some people have signed a petition that said, don't let Afrin be the new Kobani. Yes, we don't want Afrin to suffer the terrible war and siege that Kobani suffered a few years ago. But what we want, what we would like to see, is we would like to see the same victory that Kobani had in the end. Afrin will win! Yes. Kobani won, Afrin will win! Yes. Long live Rajaba! Long live the Kurdish fighters! Long live the YPG! Long live the YPJ! Long live the SDF! Freedom for Rojava, freedom for our friends!